Hi, this is Nihil at Usecure. Um, in this video, I'll be running through the core fundamentals of UFish, which is our simulated phishing tool. Um, so UFish can be set up in a couple of different ways. Um, you can set up either individual uh, one-off fishes, or you can automate the send out of our templates. Um, so our template library includes uh, a range of different commonly used services. Um, so each of these different landing pages come with their own attached email. And so if I use the Office 365 example here, it comes with this attached uh, important information about your account email. Uh, so we have a broad range of different uh, templates that can be used to send out to your staff. Now with Autofish, we can automate the send out of these templates. Um, so if we go on this example here, the way this has been configured is that senior management group has been excluded from receiving the simulations, and we've also excluded the workplace messaging template. The platform will then select one of the other templates at random, and at any point in the next 12 weeks, every member of staff that isn't in senior management will receive that phishing campaign. Once that 12 week period is up, it will then select another template at random, and again, at any point in the next 12 weeks, every member of staff that isn't in senior management will receive that templated attack. Um, so you can just leave this to run in the background and semi-regularly uh, test your staff with simulated phishing campaigns. Um, you can also set up one-off phishing campaigns as well. So what we can do here is, for example, use our uh, different templates. Uh, we do have custom uh, landing page and email template builders, um, and you can also clone our pre-made templates to amend them yourselves to make them more bespoke to yourselves if you need. If I just go and use this example of Office 365 as a landing page, instead of using this, this template that we have attached, you can actually create your own spearfish. Um, so all you need to do to set up that simulation is name the simulation, uh, set the email subject, and now you get freedom to dictate what the actual content of the email looks like. So we've got a few different layout templates here that you can use, or you can just create one completely from scratch. Um, so here we have our drag and drop email template creator. So you can do things like add uh, an image on the top to add your company logo there as the header. You can change the text to make it more bespoke to your company as well. Um, so you've got a really nice uh, flexibility to try and replicate the sort of targeted attacks that tend to be more successful. Um, following this, you then just need to select where the email comes from. And this can be set up to be completely spoofed as well. So you can spoof your own internal emails, again, to better replicate the sort of attacks that we see in reality. Um, from here, all you need to do is then select who you target with that phishing campaign, when it's going to be sent out, and also over how many hours you want to distribute the send out of those phishing emails to your staff. Finally, you can then set up the platform to automatically send out training courses to users who give away their password. So if I just search here for our phishing course, I can send them on this video based training course here. Um, once you create the simulation, it will then drop down to this page. And if I just use this example, you then get a report to show you um, what was sent out. Um, who it was that engaged with that phishing campaign. So you can see it was Courtney that compromised information uh, at 12.23 on the 5th of August. Um, and you also get a report here to show you how long it took him. So before it got to a minute after simulation start, there was an open, a visit and a compromise. We opened the email, clicked on the link and gave away his password. And then if we scroll down here, you get percentage rates for each of those metrics. So it's designed to be a very intuitive, uh, easy way to get some metrics to show which members of staff would give away their password to a phishing attack in real life. Thank you.